What's up guys, it's your favorite QB coach. Welcome back to another video. If you guys have been watching our Instagram, which by the way, if you're not following us on Instagram, I'll leave the link down below. But if you've been watching our Instagram, you've probably seen that I've been playing on the course recently and there's some interesting up and down shots that you might've seen me hit. So in this video, we're gonna take one of those up and downs that I did that I thought was a really good shot and kind of break it down further for you guys, give you some more value. So I hope you guys enjoy it. All right, to start this video, I'm just gonna let it play its way through real quick so you guys can kind of see what's going on here. But basically the shot was, I was right around maybe 25 yards away from the pin, uh, downhill lie, ball was sitting down slightly, um, raised green, obviously. The greens were slightly quick to the first bounce, so they're gonna kind of hard hop on you a little bit. And then I had to judge some slopes here, which you'll kind of see here in a sec to get the right slope to where I don't end up super far away from the hole. So that's pretty much the shot right there. I think it hits about seven feet, which um, obviously if you saw a PGA Tour player hit it to seven feet, it'd just be like, eh, it's so-so. But actually it was quite a difficult shot. So let's kind of break it down a little bit further for you guys so you can kind of see what I mean. So like I was saying earlier in this video, it was a downhill lie, which means the ball is typically going to launch lower. Now, if I had a really good lie in the rough where the ball was sitting up, I could probably get underneath the golf ball more and hit it higher to where I could hit a mid trajectory shot. Unfortunately, that was not the lie that I had. The lie was sitting all the way down to the bottom of the grass uh, all the way down to kind of the soil level and as well there's a little bit of tough to grass slightly above the ball which meant that I really couldn't hit the ball high right I knew it was going to launch low especially because of the lie and then also because it was on a down slope as well so I took out a 60 degree here and really the main thing that I was focusing on was landing zone I could probably only land it comfortably like three yards on the green if I landed it any further it's going to go over the back on the other side just because the lie was so bad so that's kind of what you're seeing me kind of visualize here so I'm going behind the ball. I'm trying to figure out my landing zone right here. Once I kind of get the landing zone, I'll take a few practice strokes like you're kind of seeing right about here. And the main thing that I was trying to think about with these practice strokes was two things. The first thing was obviously length of swing and kind of tempo of the stroke, right? How hard do I want to hit the ball? Second thing was mechanics, which was more so I don't want to come down and start to lean the shaft. If I lean the shaft at all, the ball will launch too low. And even if I hit my landing point, the ball will roll over the green because it's going to come out too hot. So it's incredibly important that when I came into the golf ball, the club head and the hands were aligned, right? It was not leaning forward, the hands. If I did that, pretty much screwed. So that's what you're seeing me do here with these practice strokes. I'm trying to kind of feel something like that out. And then once I feel like I have the correct tempo and speed and length, as well as the correct mechanics, then you're gonna see me get behind the golf ball one last time, trying to get to my uh, landing zone again. And then from here, as I'm over the golf ball, the only thing I'm really thinking about here with this little practice stroke before I go, is trying to get the rhythm and feel of the stroke as well as the feeling of the club head and the hand staying in one line. And then once I got that going, all I gotta do is just replicate what I just did with my practice stroke, which I felt like I got pretty close to that time. And then from here, I pretty much landed, as you can see, about right around like one and a half, two yards on, which was actually slightly shorter than I wanted to land it, but it still rolled out a lot more than I wanted to. The greens were actually quite slow that day. So this green was actually a little quicker than I wanted to or than I expected to be. And I think the main reason why is you can see there's not a lot of trees around it. So I think the wind uh, basically dried out the green by the time we got there. Cause I think this was hole number 14 or something like that. So that's why I think the ball rolled out more. Now, some other interesting parts about this shot was there's a few ridges here. So there's one ridge kind of in the middle that's gonna curve the golf ball or move it off to the left, which is the ridge I caught. However, if you go about two yards right at that, there's another ridge that pushes the ball off to the right. So if I would have gotten off to the right, now I have a really difficult putt, especially if I'm trying to uh, make the putt, but even a two putt is slightly difficult because it's up the slope and then down the slope on the other side. Now, again, luckily, like I said, the greens weren't super quick, so it wasn't that big of a deal, but it would have been pretty difficult to make for par. But I hit the correct slope, so I left myself an uphill putt as well a pretty straight putt. So I left it really kind of where I wanted to hit it. And from there, I was able to go on and make that putt for par. But that's pretty much uh, the breakdown of that shot. Really, the difficulty factors were the lie was difficult, right? Downhill slope plus the grass. It was sitting down in the grass. And then from there, the slopes that I had to manage and the first hop I knew was going to be really firm. So I really had to make sure I hit that landing zone. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me kind of breaking down one of my shots. If you guys did enjoy it, let me know down in the comments. I'll make some more of these. I have plenty of these shots of the recent course vlogs that we filmed. So let me know what you think. I'll do that and I'll see you guys in the next video.